And we're back here on Inside the Ropes, and we are joined by the reigning, defending WWE television champion, <laughs> the most handsome man on the WWE Keep roster. Coming. Keep it coming. He is, I would say, a future <laughs> Hall of Famer, um, pretty much a future movie star if he chooses to go down that route. Oh, the one and only reality television star, oh, yes. um, Lana loving, Orton beating, mm. beard impresario. It's handsome Rusev. Hi, Rusev. That's me. <laughs> wow, what an introduction! You deserve it for all you've you, all you've brought. So I want to ask you first of all that night where you smashed somebody with the te- the television monitor and you proclaimed yourself the television champion. Yeah. I mean, that's just gold. It is, and uh, it's very unfortunate nobody has challenged my uh, my TV championship yet. And it's been what about two years now. So I'm still there. I'm still for the taking. And also, you know, like, I think sometimes in wrestling that people forget things too easily, right? Like, you know, Bray Wyatt, like, his house gets burnt down and maybe he forgets about it. But what I love about you is that when you have this big moment at WrestleMania 32, you and the lads, the League of Nations, you win, and then Stone Cold Steve Austin comes out of nowhere, attacks you out of nowhere, and then you put out on Twitter the next day that you were no longer going to listen to the Stone Cold podcast. No. Have you kept that ban? I have not listened to his podcast since. What would it take for you to, to return to being a listener of the, of the podcast? A personal apology and maybe invite me to be a guest in it. And then I'll listen only to my appearance and that's it. I think that's fair. And first of all, the joke is on him because as I said, he tore his shoulder when he came out and punched me. The first punch he threw, he tore his shoulder out. So the joke is on him because I was fine after you know five or six seconds after that stunner. But he had to have a surgery and recover and all that. So that you got the last lap. Stone cold. And um, you got to, you're one of the only people, I think you're maybe the only person that got to come out at WrestleMania in a tank. Yeah. Um, and you come out with, with Lana and she's all dressed like she's in Beverly Hills Cop 2. And um, it looked great. How was that moment for you getting to go out there with John Cena and be in such a high profile match at WrestleMania? What was the question again? How did it feel to be in such a high profile match? It feel- I never get nervous before matches, but this was one of them that I actually was nervous because there was a lot on my shoulders. I was undefeated for a full year. I had the most amazing entrance in any WrestleMania or any television show or whatnot. And uh, I was a bit nervous and maybe got a little bit carried away. That's why I lost. But at the end of the day, I got to experience this amazing thing that happens once in a lifetime. What did it take for WWE or Lana to convince you to join Total Divas? <laughs> um, it, she didn't have to convince me. I don't have to do it. I like doing it. I like having fun. And uh, I like having fun with her. And they take me to all kinds of good trips that I don't have to pay. So I'm okay with that. And you got to take Lana home and do the wedding back there as well. Uh, we did the wedding in Malibu, wedding at home. And... Uh, I'm just happy that I can share this with uh, all the WWE universe to have a little glimpse in uh, our li- real lives. And obviously, Randy Orton came out the other week when you you asked for some competition, um, and now you guys are going to face off at SummerSlam. SummerSlam's got like you know 1,900 matches on it this year. Um, what is? I think it's 1,700. 1,700. I'm sorry, I don't want to over exaggerate. Um, but. Well, like, what, is, what is the feeling like for you guys? Because obviously you guys are, 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 are great in the ring. Is there a kind of pressure for you guys to kind of go, well, we might not be for the title or we might not be the, the main event match, but we're going to go out and kill it and make sure people remember our match? I mean, I don't care about everybody else. I don't care about their titles. It's about me. And when, I, when my music hits, it's all about me. I don't care about anybody else. I'm going to do the best as I can with, with anything I can. It doesn't matter how many matches there are. And I think that's the attitude of everybody. It's not just me. Like, we don't care how many matches or who's here, who's there. It doesn't matter. You're just there to be the best. Is it fair to say that you have the best theme tune in WWE? Yeah, by far. I mean, I know people who literally go shopping and have it on while they walk down the aisle in the supermarket because it's just such a majestic theme. What did you think the first time you heard it? Oh, I just loved it. As soon as I heard it, I just loved it. And the first time I heard it was actually I was a Monday Night Raw or, uh, excuse me, it was uh, Royal Rumble, and I think Triple H played it to me, and I heard it over the speakers. It was just the most amazing thing ever. 
Well, speaking of Triple H, uh, Busted Open Radio, based in New York, you know, they're doing a lot of stuff for SummerSlam Week. They interview a lot of you guys. And uh, they just put out a report 10 minutes ago that Triple H may be heading to SmackDown as a member of the roster later in 2017. If that were to happen, would you want to get in there with Triple H? Of course. He's a 14-time world champ. Who wouldn't want to get in there with him? He's, uh, he's one of the best, and uh, I would love to step in and show him what, I, what, I, what I'm bringing to the table. Because I'm pretty sure I can hang with him really easy. I think you could too. And I, I want to ask you about Lana, because obviously you guys aren't on screen and on SmackDown together right now. She's doing her own thing in the women's division. Would you, would you guys like to get back together in terms of her being your manager again, or are you happier with you guys getting to do your own thing? We're just happy to shine anywhere we can, and... Uh, I'm sure we're going to come back together at one point because this is just what it is. It's just going to happen. We're just, for now, we're enjoying our time off. Not time off, but time separate. And uh, last question, you know, looking forward to, to WrestleMania next year in New Orleans. For you, if there was a match that you could have, anybody on the roster, you could pick, what, what would the match be that you would want to have? Well, now that Triple H is going to be a fighter, then I will fight him. There you go, simple answer. Rusev, thank you very much. And uh, long live the television champion. Yeah.